When this stretch of Highway 132 washed out during a downpour a month ago, the roadway was undercut some 80 feet down and 100 feet across. There's a culvert down here. You can see we're just replacing it right now. Yeah, and there was so much water and material coming down this creek that it clogged that culvert and water actually backed up against the road almost like a dam. And there was so much pressure the road couldn't handle it. This new drain pipe is being cemented in place. Then dirt will be filled in on top of it. Hopefully when we're done, this thing will be better than new. And I recorded on my rain gauge seven and a half inches in about three hours. The rainfall was recorded by Don Sundberg near Coulterville. He also lost a friend when the roadway washed away. His truck, somehow, they're not even sure, got washed away and they found the truck. Everything tore apart, pretty much just a frame and they never found him. People living in and around Coulterville feel isolated. There's that Highway 132 break, and then this. Highway 49 is closed north and south of the town. The steep and winding highway is being replaced in many places. This entire area was just a raging river. While no definite time is being given as to when these roads will reopen, it won't be soon enough for Deborah Hagerty, who runs a consignment shop in Coulterville. We have no customers. It's Mother Nature. We lost some great people and had a lot of damage, and we came together as a community. The total tab for the repairs is about $20 million. And while some parts of the roads may open in three weeks, other more damaged areas likely won't be passable until Memorial Day. In Coulterville, Mariposa County, Will Hereford. KCRA 3 News.